we are going to, today we are going to talk about the content calendar and I'm really excited about this. I finally convinced myself to put this out publicly. This is a content calendar that I have been using now for a couple of years and have had really good success with this. Um, now it is, this is not necessarily a very specific content calendar, but it's a visual and it will help you know what to post. It also will help you see the, um, it'll, it'll help you see what you're posting and if you're posting one type of content too much. So, um, we're just going to jump into it. So this is the first page of it. I always like to have at least five pillars of content. Um, this one, I have six on here and then we have sub content underneath that. So those are the ideas for the content there. Uh, now you can, the great thing about this calendar is you have control over it all. Um, this is a, you know, a, a Canva template so that you can change anything. I do have all of the blocks grouped. So that way, if you want to move them around, you can, or you can double click and change, uh, what they say here. Okay. So if you don't like the sub contents that I have here, feel free to change them. I did different colors again, so we can see um, what you're posting and talking about mostly. I would say you probably want to stick with the green most and then the yellow the second most or vice versa, I suppose, and then sprinkle in some of these. Um, what this means, the funny holiday um, that is like popcorn, National Popcorn Day, National Donut Day, uh, National Kindness Day, that kind of stuff. Birthdays, um, it can be anybody obviously on your team or any of your clients you want to give a shout out to. Um, let's see, uh, some of these I've had well, people have questions about inspection. So this would be like you were at an inspection and taking a picture. Um, same thing with staging or staging could also be like a link online to a great article that talks about staging or just your personal opinion about staging. Um, the reason why I think those two are important and should be on there is because it does show that you are in the industry. It's setting you up as the local expert. Um, and it's also showing guys that you have more knowledge than just buying and selling, but also um, that you have the knowledge of how to get it done better and potentially more efficient and then just your knowledge base as well, especially with those inspections. Now, if you don't, if you're a new agent and you don't have some of those things, um, something that I have done is ask other agents maybe for funny pictures or just go online and if you find a funny picture just make sure that you reference where you found the picture or who it belongs to but there's some funny stuff especially if you go on Pinterest and um, search some stuff on there and you'll find some funny things. Now down here over here to the video um, market update uh, you could walk around your community and introduce people to your community. You could interview local people. Uh, you could do a listing walkthrough or a live video. Facebook still is uh, loving their live videos. Uh, if you want to get more engagement organically, a live video is a great option. Uh, in action is what I like to kind of think about this is this, these are when you are doing things. So I, an inspection could fall under this. Um, but as a real estate act, uh, as a real estate agent, these would be actions that you might be doing. So you could be showing houses. Um, you know, the idea of some of these is just to show the people that are following you that you are active in real estate and a busy and sought after real estate agent. So you could take, if you wanted, if you don't do showings very often, you could take three or four photos from one evening of, of showings and spread them out. Crazy finds. Um, this is something I think is kind of funny. And uh, this actually does get typically a lot of engagement. So it is one of my favorite things to post. But this could be like one time I was showing houses and they had four uh, thermometers, not thermometers, but thermostats on their wall. Uh, but only one of them worked, you know. And so it was like they kept getting new thermometers, or excuse me, thermostats and putting them up, but never taking the old ones down. I've seen houses with lots of phones on the wall. I've even seen a house with a manhole in the basement for the city. So those are the kind of things that I like to take pictures of because it's just so bizarre. And that's what I would qualify as a crazy find. Cleaning tips, pretty self-explanatory. A lot of people don't know what BCS is and 
that just means behind the scenes. So I would maybe take a photo behind the scenes of, of a real estate agent. You know, you could set your photo up or your camera up to video you uh, trying to put a sign in the frozen ground. I mean, how many of us have been out there trying to stuff a sign in the yard when the ground is just one big block of ice? It can be rather funny. <laughs> um, this could also be you coming home late at night to kiss your kids on their forehead because you miss their parents. You could also do a photo of your passenger seat in your car because you have a hundred listing printouts. Uh, you know, all kinds of stuff could be behind the scenes. The engagement, this is probably one of my favorite. And my big tip, and we'll kind of talk about this in a second, my big tip is to make sure that these yellow squares of engagement are sprinkled in between most of the rest. Now, that is because if you do a just listed or just sold, those typically don't get a lot of engagement naturally on Facebook. So when you have a post that has a lower engagement, you want to follow it up with a post that typically has a higher engagement. So that way, Facebook doesn't think you're posting boring stuff. You know, you're constantly re-engaging your audience. So this or that, you know, would you rather have the city view or country view? That kind of thing. Um, my big tip for that is to make it very, very easy for people to answer. So I usually say, do you want number one, country view, number two, city view, or A, country view, B, city view. And so then that way, if people want to write more, they can, but they could also just simply type in A or B. Um, question. I have a post going up either today or tomorrow of a kitchen that has a special nook in the cabinetry for their dog. And it even has a pot filler in there so that way you could fill up the dog bowl with water. So the question is, would you love this in your kitchen? You can find a lot of these images online. Again, you want to make sure that you are uh, quoting who took the picture, if you can find it, or maybe even the web address you found it on. About me and my why, um, similar, but sometimes I like to make the about me maybe a little bit more silly. About me, did you know I had 15 pugs, you know, or um, I collect ceramic porcelain dolls. I don't know. That's weird. But my why is a little bit more personal and maybe more serious. You know, I do this for my kids. I do this because I want to travel, etc. Quotes. Um, quotes could be a lot of times you see people like um, doing more like uh, definitions of words used in real estate. So buyer's tip, seller's tip. This is what this kind of financing needs, different types of financing. That's kind of what I was thinking in the quote section. And obviously testimonies are um, testimonies that you've gotten from your clients. So that's a run through of post categories. Again, you can add, if you wanna add a box here, just click it, copy on your keyboard and paste, okay? You can also click it, right click, um, copy and paste. And if you don't like it, you just highlight it, hit that delete button. Uh, okay, now we did talk about videos. I did put in here just a really quick live video idea. And then this is January. So you can see I have on here, I have all the way through December and they look similar because that's just how it is. Is a lot of times you are gonna want to put similar things on your Facebook, but I did change up some of those um, categories in between. So we're just going to jump over here to January and you'll see that I have a lot of green and a lot of times the green will have two because if you're selling a lot, you know, you don't want to just bombard your page with just listed or just sold. Um, people are going to stop paying attention. So you also want to include a crazy find or this or that and you can move these around if you don't like it on that day you can move it around or if you have open houses on Sunday then put open houses on Sunday I think I did that down here yeah here we go <clears throat> so here I have open houses um, on Friday you might have instead of a just listed we usually list a lot of our new listings on Fridays if you want or maybe on a Saturday you could put um, open house preview something like that um, I've gone through and I've inputted the major holidays of 2021. Seems weird to say it like that. Uh, but I kind of did an idea of what I might do. But again, this is your
your content calendar. So you can move these blocks around however you would like. And the days you can um, keep this and, and redo it for next year. You'll just have to redo the days on there. Uh, so this is very easy. If you guys have more than just a real estate company, if you do, let's say property management or commercial, again, you can change these blocks to say whatever you want and move them around. So what I would do after I got my month, how I would like it is then I would go here to this download button and typically I just download one at a time because it's not unusual for me to jump in and change it. Um, kind of pivot if I had a plan one month and I didn't feel like I got very much engagement to the next month do something different. So here I'm on page eight, which is June. Uh, and then you'll see here page eight, June. So I just click that one box. It's only going to download this one page that is shown. You can do it as PNG, JPEG, uh, a PDF. So I would probably just do standard PDF. Um, download that and then just print it out. And I leave it beside my computer. And that way every day I know. Now, if you want kind of a advanced suggestion, I also use the website later, L-A-T-E-R, and that does allow me to schedule out for Facebook and Instagram. So on the ones that are not like a current post, like your just listed, just sold, that kind of stuff, that is a little bit more immediate that you would want to post. For the ones that are like the crazy finds, the questions, the testimonies, the this or that, you can sit down in one day and you can schedule out all of those to be um, published for you on Instagram and on Facebook with hashtags and all of that good stuff. So that way you're not constantly having to sit down every day and post something. You know it's going to go out. So I just want to uh, give you guys a really good overview of what the content calendar is, how you can use it, and how it can help you in your real estate life. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think. If there's something I'm missing on here or there's something else you would like to see, please feel free to leave me a comment or contact me anytime. And I can't wait to uh, work with you guys and see you on the next video. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.